Greetings in the name of the Lord. I want to thank God for the opportunity to come to this platform to have a time of prayer together. I trust that uh, as we pray, God, you hear our prayer and God, you answer. As you have said before, that God loves when we are praying and he desires that his people will call upon his name. He says that call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you know nothing about. He loves to answer our prayer more than we desire to pray. He says that to you God who answers prayer, all flesh will come. God loves to answer prayer of his people more than his people are willing to pray. And I want us to join up together in this hour, covenant hour of prayer to make our request made, made known to God. And today I want us to have time to pray for your man of God or to pray for men and women of God that may have impacted your life or serves you or you know. Um, many times we assume that our pastors and men and women of God don't desire our prayer. But when you look at the scriptures, you see that Jesus, who is the great shepherd, he desired to have people that can pray with him. And many times he could call his disciples to go to a place of prayer and he desired that they would stand with him in prayer, even if it's for one hour. And I want to request us now at this hour, we open our spirit, we engage our hearts in prayer, and we are going to pray this one prayer for our pastors, for men and women of God. Uh, Peter, when he was in prison, the church prayed. And when the church prayed, the answer came quickly. The angel was sent. And Peter saw like he was dreaming because the people were gathered together to pray for him. Paul, when he is writing to the, the letters to the churches, he says many times that I covet your prayers. In Hebrews chapter 13, verses 18, he said, pray for us, for our concern is clear and we want to live honorably in everything we do and especially pray that I will be able to come back to you soon. He is saying that pray for us that uh, and for our conscience to be clear. In uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 25 he says to the church and he says brethren pray for us pray for me he requested people to stand with him in prayer i believe as we pray even at this moment that god you hear from heaven and god you answer our prayers in the mighty name of jesus i want us to begin by thanking god for his servants men and women that he has chosen men and women that he has anointed men and women that he has called men and women that he has ordained for his glory in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to thank God. He says that when he went to heaven, he gave gifts to men and he called some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be pastors, some to be teachers, some to be evangelists. He called them for the equipping of the body of Christ. They desire, they require our continuous prayers on the altar of prayer. I want us to lift our voice in the spirit for a few minutes and thank God because of his servants that he has called even in our time, even in our generation. Let's lift them before God. Let's commit their lives to God. Let's commit even their families to God. Let's worship God for their lives. Let us be grateful that God has given you a servant. He has given you a man or a woman of God that serves you with dedication, that takes care of you like a man that shall give an account before God. I want us to thank God for them in the name of Jesus. Thank God for the Yareba. Thank God for the lives. Thank God for the efforts. Thank God for the consistency. Thank God for the prayers for your life in the name of Jesus. 
Kayesa Mesheli Malakani Bolo Kozialama Mashatina Maridi Bokrono Mozina Mekenina Mosana Nana Mahasakaya Meshoto Romali Kitalo Bazina Meshilama Kasudu Dubo Riki Nanga Maya Sandi Maluti Kamali de Bokrosa Mesheli Damatu Kabalahasi Namonte Merabu Masakani Noto Yesheli de Mekrodia Malita Piesenete Keto Molo Binamaha I am grateful Lord for men and women that God you have called in my time that you have used to impact my life in the name of Jesus thank you Father I give you praise I give you glory for the calling I thank you Jesus that you have called them you have given them specific graces specific anointings specific assignment even for the equipping of the body of Christ we are grateful we are thankful we honor you you said and you promised by your word that you will raise for your people shepherds that are after your heart and father we are thankful that there are men that are spreading in the nations in the name of Jesus that are after your heart my God we are grateful we are grateful we are grateful we are grateful we worship you we honor you we exalt you father we magnify your name we exalt and declare that God you are so good you are so good oh God thank you for their lives thank you for their families Thank you for their children. Thank you for their callings. Thank you for their ministries. Thank you for their assignments. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for your hand upon your servants. Thank you for your peace and protection. And covering oh God upon their lives. In the name of Jesus. You have called them. You have ordained them. You have separated them. You have given them grace. We are grateful. We honor you. We exalt you Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. May May your name be praised. May your name be exalted. May your name be lifted. May your name be magnified. Thank you, Father. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for your servants. Thank you for men and women of God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we give you glory. We give you worship. We give you honor. Even at this hour, we are grateful. We are grateful. We worship you. Mashatala bikasoya. Mendika no malababo. Reseke moshot. Imasia no ne kabala haza, me leti no malabigana, me sokoli na mahazaya, me shite rebo na magando, rasu kutali bala, imali bona siete, imali bona masaya, imali bona makrosiere, mirito prekizeo, ishalida makato mazia, igila salana masa, mashalala la la masai. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you all the glory. We are going to pray because they are calling is by grace that the grace of God will abound upon your man of God and upon men and women of God that you know and that you do not know we are praying for them today I want you to carry that burden in your spirit in the name of Jesus and pray for them according to the will of God allow the Holy Spirit to intercede for his servants in your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 15 verses 10 the scripture says that by the grace of God I am what I am and his grace towards me was not in vain on the contrary I worked harder than any of them though it was not me but the grace of God which is with me they are who they are they are in the calling because of the grace of God I want us to pray that grace will continue to multiply grace will continue to increase grace will continue to abound even in their lives in the name of Jesus in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 8 the scripture says that God is able to make grace abound towards you that we always having all sufficiency in all things may abound in every good work I want us to pray and you are going to pray for your pastor you are going to pray for men and women of God let grace grace abound. Let grace increase. Let grace be multiplied. Let grace cover them. Let grace grow in them. Let grace abound in their spirit that they may abound in every good work. Lift up your hand and your voice to God and pray for grace. Release the grace. Pray that God, plead with God that you keep multiplying grace upon their lives, upon their callings, upon their assignments. In the name of Jesus, 
Oh, we give you glory. Mashikana malibani kosimbeleta. Miroti kizini midi bokrona. Mashani na makrade mosaya. Mashete reko poli gana mazaya. Miropa mosika ni malabonka. Miriti kaluna maza. Mesheli na maka. Barozami ni keri bona magrena. In the name of Jesus, that grace will abound upon your servants. In the name of Jesus, that God you multiply grace from one level of grace to another. In the name of Jesus, you are able to make grace abound. Shendo kosi bali kani noma razaki na mola bakando reseketi lene mozaya to make grace abound in all things and at all times, giving us all that we desire, giving us all that we need, that we may abound in every good work in the work of the kingdom. Father God, to these men and women of God, I pray in the name of Jesus that God there will be a covering. There will be grace. There will be grace. Grace will be multiplied. There will labor more abundantly. Not by experience, but by the power of grace. In the name of Jesus, let grace abound. Mashati kala moseda. Me rekito kono monasaya. Me karima nzubala. Me sheliki deni mosaya. Me lika na masando bahaya. I prali bosaka. I prali bosaka. That supernatural empowerment. That supernatural empowerment enablement to God in the name of Jesus we reason I declare it upon your servant, upon your servant that your hand is upon, upon your servant that you are raising in our generation, upon your servant in the name of Jesus. Even young ministers that God are coming up, I pray in the name of Jesus that grace will abound in the name of Jesus. Father, we will say continually, we are who we are, not by experience, but by the grace of God that is at work in us. We have raped, but more abundantly, not because we know but because God of the grace let grace abound let grace abound the unmerited favor and the supernatural enablement let it abound in the hearts of your servants in the name of Jesus God God of our grace, God of our grace, after your servant have suffered for a little while, you say in your word that you will come and establish in the name of the Lord. You will settle them. You will empower them. You will fulfill that which you ordained from the beginning of time. Let that scripture become a reality in the name of Jesus. We commit your servants to you and we declare grace in the name of the Lord to the fathers of the gospel. We declare declare grace to the sons of the gospel. We declare grace. Let grace be multiplied. Let grace be multiplied. Let grace abound in the lives of your servants. In the name of Jesus. Oh, to the glory and to the praise of your name. We thank you, Father, for you are God who answers prayer. You are the God of our grace. You are the God of our grace who have called us to your eternal glory by Christ Jesus. This is the calling, oh God. You called your servants into the calling of glory. The calling into glory. Let them be filled. Let them let the grace of God abound even in the area of your callings in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you the glory. Number three, we are going to pray that they will be strengthened and empowered in the inner man by the power of the Spirit. You are going to pray for your pastor that, oh God of heaven, let my pastor, let men and women of God be empowered in the inner man by the power of the Holy Spirit. Nothing will weaken their hearts. Nothing will attack their inner person in the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. He says, I pray that from his glorious and limited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through the Holy Spirit. He will empower you in the inner man or with inner strength through the Holy Spirit. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources of his 
empower. He will empower his servants. He will empower his servants in the inner man through his spirit. I want us to raise it to God as a prayer that our pastors, men and women of God, the young and the old, they will be empowered by the power of the Holy Spirit in the inner man, in the name of Jesus, from his rich resources, from his glorious and limited resources, he will empower his servants in the inner man by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lays it to God as a prayer. Mashatu koblaha me legina masalaboka mizima lakido bolo kizaya me shete ketere bolo bo rindi timi kazu anima kroma lida ma maruki na malidi ganasa me shide boko somalida ya me karuba buna makrando me sepele kanosa me rete seketo robona ripana mi kanose maradu makrayo saya ipiala du makraso me maramana malabana magana marabuni meda ripuno bolianti na na masaya me keleli mosoko me lida malidosa marapro salidika me tekiolozia malatusa isha luke mahaya imina kanilo saya that there will be strengthened that there will be empowered in the inner man from your glorious resources from your glorious and unlimited resources empower your servants empower pastors empower apostles empower prophets oh god evangelist teachers oh god in the name of jesus empower the spirit empower the bishops in the inner man by the power of the holy spirit empower oh god the study of god let your power empowerment in the inner man in the inner man from your rich resources let it come upon them let it come upon the, your lives in the name of jesus mashakata kabo melebona mazande makina malaba bozaya ikazani mokosaya ina masata balalidosa ikerene mosaka in the name of jesus let the Oh God, not be weak. Let them be strengthened. Let them be empowered. Let them be filled with power, with grace in the inner man, by the power of the Spirit, in the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare together that it is done in the name of Jesus. Mashakata kaba, merabu sikamalabosa, in the name of Jesus. Number four, we are going to pray. We are praying for our pastors. We are praying for men and women of God. We are going to pray that the word of God in their tongue will have a free course into the hearts of people. That the message, the, the message, the dimension of grace and message that God has given them will have a free course into the hearts of people. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 2, Paul is saying, finally, dear brothers and sisters, we ask you to pray for us. Pray that the Lord's message will spread rapidly and be honored wherever it goes, just as when it came to you. He says, pray that the message of the kingdom that the message that we carry will spread rapidly and you'll be honored it will have a free course in the hearts of people that it will spread freely into the hearts of the people in the nations I want you to pray that the word of God that word that word that God has put in the heart of your of the man or woman of God that that serves you that you have submitted under that that word you have a free course it will spread rapidly it will be honored Honored wherever it goes in the name of Jesus. Just make that prayer. Lift up your voice in the name of Jesus. Mashaku to koprekelaza. Mi ladina mota balakaza. Me shinere bokro di mahazia. Mla zukomulida mahaza. Father, to some, you have given the words of faith. To some, oh God, you have given words of deliverance. To some, oh God, you have given word and ministries of healing. I pray in the name of Jesus that to this man and women of God. My Father God, you will make the word to have a free course in the hearts of people. We pray in the name of Jesus that the message and the dimension of the call and the dimension of the preaching that God they carry will have a free course. It will spread rapidly. It will go to the, to the nations in the name of Jesus. It will be honored by people who hear this message in the name of Jesus. We decree it right now. We set to it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shakatala Bamos, 
My God, we join with the people everywhere on this platform. Father God, to pray for your servant. Let the word you've put in them have a free course. Let it spread rapidly. Let it not be rejected. Let it not be opposed. Let it spread rapidly. Let the message of hope, let the message of healing, let the message of the good news of the kingdom of God, the message of salvation, the message of power that you've put in your heart. Let it spread. Let it spread. Let it spread in the name of Jesus. Mashatu Kabalida Bosa. Let it be received with joy in the name of Jesus. Let it be received with excitement wherever it goes in the name of Jesus. We declare it now. We declare it today. We declare it in the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We worship you, Father, for you are hearing our prayer. You are even answering now in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray as we continue to pray for his servants, God's servants. I want you to pray that the word in the tongue will be with the demonstration of the spirit and with power. We will be not only with the wisdom of men, but with the demonstration of the spirit and the demonstration of the power of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 4. The Bible says, and my speech and my message was not in possible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power that your faith might, might not rest in the wisdom of man but in the power of God. We are going to pray that God you feel my pastor, you feel your servant in the name of Jesus that the words in his tongue will be full of the demonstration of the spirit and of power demonstration of the spirit the dimension of revelation Jesus says the words I speak to you, they are life and they are spirit that they will, their words will be full of life. They will be full of the spirit. Revelation and power will become the, 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 the mark of their ministry. The mark of their calling in the name of Jesus. And together we can join and pray to the God of heaven. Let their speech, let their message not be with the wisdom of this world but with the demonstration of the spirit. Let it be with the revelation and let it be with power. Let it be with revelation and let it be with power. Lays up your hands and let us make that prayer. <coughs> In the name of Jesus, Mashakata Kabulhadia, Mesiba Namikaru Basiento, Mesheteketo Robaniata, Mizami Natuzulu Maha, Meshekeli Damosa, Miraba Namagando, Reseketele Mosaya, Imama Satama, Mereposaka, Miriba Sila, Mikaruba Mayanda, Maseka Loba Mosaya, in the name of Jesus, that God Almighty, the words in the Yatana, the word in the Yahata will be full of revelation and you'll be full of power we'll be full of the demonstration of the spirit and of power even in these last days in the name of Jesus as Paul preached the word and he said when I came to you I did not come with enticing words of man of man's wisdom so that your faith will not be founded on the wisdom of this world but I came with a demonstration of the spirit and of power I pray in the name of Jesus as we deliver the word as your people for God that you have called, deliver us the word. They will be full of God Almighty, of the demonstration of the spirit and of power. The words of your tongue will be full of wisdom, will be full of counsel, will be full of uh, uh, revelation, will be full of insight, will be full of power in the name of Jesus. We declare it now. We declare it now. Even as we intercede, Holy Spirit of God, Mashallah Kalibo Lokazia, Milada Madito Madito Fill our tongues, fill the tongues of your servants, my God Almighty, with the demonstration of the spirit and of power, with the demonstration of revelation and of power in the name of Jesus. You who follows the words of your servants, even to fulfill, my God, cover the words, cover the message in the name of Jesus to be full of life 
to be full of the power, to be full of the demonstration of the grace of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we give you glory. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we give you praise. Father, we give you honor. We worship your name. In the name of Jesus. Now, the next number we are going to pray. That your man of God will carry double honor. He will be honored everywhere he go. He will be favored and respected in that city, in that town, in that village, in that nation. Let's pray that they will carry double honor. In First Timothy chapter 5 verse 17, the scripture says that the elders who lose well be considered worthy of double honor. Especially those who labor in the preaching and teaching for the the scripture says you shall not muzzle an ox when it is treading the grain and the rebeller deserves his wages. We are going to pray especially those who teach the, the, who preach, who rebel in preaching and teaching. You are pastor you are man of God and the men of God that you know that are rebelling in the message, that are rebelling in the teaching the scripture says they deserve double honor. Nobody serves God in the light way and ends, ends up in shame in John chapter 12 verses 26 he says if any man follows me let him serve me if many man follows me or uh, let him serve me and where I am that is where my servant will also be he say if any man serves me my father will honor let the servants the men and women of God carry honor upon them carry honor upon the calling in the name of Jesus raise your voice and pray that God you bring them to a place of honor to that levels of honor double honor by those who hear them by those who seize them by those who, oh, who will have an contact with them or that by those who, who are listening to them whether on the social media platform whether in the televisions whether in the crusades in the village or the city or the town or the estate where they are ministering that honor will cover their lives in the name of Jesus Father God, you don't call your servants into shame. You call your servants into glory. You call your servants into honor. They deserve double honor. Those who labor in the name of Jesus, in the preaching and the teaching of the gospel. Those who labor in watching over the lives of your people as people that shall give an account in heaven. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that God of heaven, Shanda Boka, you will make them end up in honor in the name of Jesus in a spell of disgrace and shame oh God that may be covering any of your servants we declare it is broken in the name of Jesus we pray that God you cover them with the crown of glory with the crown of favor with the crown of double honor in the name of Jesus those who sees them those who hears them those who they meet Father God they will honor and they will be honored in the name of Jesus. Oh, we believe together. You God who answers prayer, bring your servants into press of honor in the name of Jesus. We break every despise, every shame, every reproach in the name of Jesus. We declare it is broken in the name of the Lord. Every spirit of ridicule against your servants in the name of the Lord. We decree it is broken. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Let them be calm. My God, men and women of honor. Let them call it double honor. Let them be honored in the name of Jesus. We declare your word. We declare it is done in the mighty name of Jesus. Oshama saka pashama sakataza mashakata raba moselerama miropra rikina moza mashalaba ne masiano bokose meshiriri libokrolo moza in the name of Jesus we thank you father i give you glory i give you honor i give you praise for hearing our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus oh we thank you we thank you we give you glory we're going to pray 
that you become a crown of joy. You become a crown of glory, a crown of pride for your man of God. The scripture says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 19, for what is our hope? What is our joy? What is the crown of our boasting before, the, uh, before our Lord Jesus at his coming? It is you. Wherever you have submitted, wherever you, you go to church, the men and women that God has brought into your life to speak life into your destiny, the scripture shows that you become their crown of glory. You become their joy. You become their, their uh, source of strength also by the transformation, by the way you honor them, by the way you stand and partner with them, even in the preaching of the gospel. And I pray in the name of Jesus, now you are going to pray for yourself and to pray for the brethren that you gather together, that they will become a crown of joy to that man of God. God. The people he serves will become a crown of joy. There will not be a burden. There will not be, be of pain to him. But they will become a crown of joy to that man and that woman of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says if we, if we become a burden, it will be of no benefit to us. It will be of no value to us. In Hebrews chapter 13, he says if you become a burden, he will not be of any benefit to you. I pray that God... God will give them men and women who submit to them that you become a joy, that you become a crown of re reward, a crown of rejoicing. When they see them, they say, you are a sign of my calling. You are a sign of my apostleship. You are a sign of the call of God upon my life. I want you to pray for yourself and to pray for the people that submit under your pastor and under that man of God that there will become a crown of joy. There will become a crown of blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. They will become the legion of the apostate because they have people that are filled with God that Christ is formed every day in their heart in the name of Jesus. Oh God we thank you. We know you are healing our prayer. We pray in the name of Jesus for the many men and women of God that are spread all over the globe. Even where my God in some countries, they are not free freedom of worship, that you have raised men that speaks life, that God Almighty, you pray, we pray that in the name of Jesus, the people they serve, the people you have brought their way, will not be a burden, but they will become a joy, they will obey the teachings, they will obey and follow instructions, in the name of Jesus, they will become a crown of joy to them, even when you appear, they will not need to be ashamed, because the people you gave to them, the people you brought their way, Father God, they manifested Christ. We pray in the name of Jesus that the people they serve, the people we serve, will become a joy, will become a source of joy. They will become a sign of our calling, of our apostleship, of our pastorhood. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray. They will not serve, oh God, with pain in their hearts. We pray for healing in the name of Jesus of the hearts of your servants. We pray that God that will serve with joy because the people you have given to them in the name of Jesus are a crown of joy and a crown of the reward in the name of Jesus. Oh God, hear our prayer and answer your servants in the name of Jesus. The sons will be happy in the name of Jesus. The Fathers, you'll be happy. We pray in the name of the Lord. Nobody will serve with bitterness of heart. Nobody will serve with breathing in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. But Father God, they will heal. And Father God, we pray that the people they serve will also become a source of joy and a crown of glory and a crown of, uh, of rejoicing. In the name of Jesus. 
Oh, Father, we give you praise. We give you the glory. Oh, God who answers prayer. To you, all fresh, you come. To you, all men, you come. We give you glory. For you are hearing us, Lord. You are answering us. May your name be glorified. May your name be exalted. In the name of Jesus, we continue to pray. And we pray that... Uh, you are man of God. The man of God that you know and the man of God that serves you will be delivered from the enemies of the gospel. In Romans chapter 5 verses 30, Paul says, or the writer says, Dear brothers and sisters, I urge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to join in my struggle by praying to God for me. Do this because of your love for me given to you by the Holy Spirit. Pray that I will be rescued. I will be delivered from those in Judea who refuse to obey God. From those in Judea who oppose, who oppose the gospel. Pray also that the believers there will be willing to, to, uh, to accept the donation I am taking. Uh, to Jerusalem. He says pray that my enemies those who are in Judea, those who do not obey God, those who reject the truth, pray that I will be delivered from them. And I want you to pray for your man of God that you'll be delivered from the forces of accusations in the name of Jesus. The people that hate him, that accuses him falsely, that he'll be delivered from those who hate the gospel. Raise your prayer to God and let us call upon his name in the name of Jesus even as we come to conclusion that we will be delivered you pastors you'll be delivered our men and women of God you'll be delivered from those who hate what they do in the kingdom he'll, they will be delivered from accusation in the name of Jesus we bind the spirit of accusation in the name of Jesus long accusation the poison of the tongues in the name of Jesus targeting any man or woman of God in the name of Jesus my God we declare those forces are broken they are destroyed in the name of Jesus any arrow of accusation in the name of the Lord that can bring any of your servants down father we declare that those powers those forces those enemies in the name of Jesus are, are broken in the name of the Lord. Those acute, accusing words, uh, they are broken. They are destroyed. They are nullified in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray, save your servants in the name of Jesus from those who accuse them wrongly in the, or falsely, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We silence every tongue. Uh, Father, you say in your word uh, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue uh, that raises against us in judgment we shall condemn it for this is the inheritance in the name of Jesus of those that you have chosen of those that you have called of the sons of God Father God we pray in the name of Jesus any accusation any tongue any poison of a tongue targeting any man or woman of God to bring them down that tongue is silenced in the name of Jesus and Father we cover them from their enemies in the name of Jesus oh we, we thank you Father I want us to pray that they will be delivered from negative words of man and negative will of man. Negative words and negative will. Any negative words spoken, any negative will towards him, towards her, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the enemy be stopped. In the name of Jesus, my God. God, we declare any negative will in that city, in that village, in that nation, in that territory, in that estate where this man or woman of God is serving. I pray in the name of Jesus that they will be delivered from negative words of man, from negative will of people in the name of Jesus. And those forces are broken. Those forces are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Forces of accusation. Forces, oh God, of negative will. Forces of negative words. Forces 
forces of hatred without cause we decree and we declare it is broken in the name of Jesus deliver us your servants deliver your servants in the name of the Lord from negative words from negative will in the name of Jesus of man my God almighty we pray deliver your servants from the attacks of satanic agents in the name of Jesus allow the areas of calling allow the areas of ministry father deliver them in the name of Jesus secure their calling secure their destinies secure their children secure their families Oh masaka masoba micheli bala kasaya mikana na masando bala la bossa ike sokoto koboliasa in the name of Jesus let's pray that they will be delivered from uh, uh, and from the power of sicknesses and premature death and a force targeting any man or woman of God of sicknesses of diseases and premature death let it be broken he says if you will serve me i will take away sicknesses from a among you there shall be no balance neither shall there be mis- He says we will fulfill our days because we serve him because we have called us to serve him. I pray that his their days will be fulfilled. No premature death, no arrow of premature death, no arrow of sicknesses, no arrow of miscarriages, no arrows of barrenness, no attack to their health will prevail. Let's pray that prayer for servants of God in the name of Jesus that this covenant you remain, this covenant you stand in the name of Jesus no sickness no disease no infirmity no arrow of attack in the name of Jesus to the health in the name of Jesus to kopo salala masaka you say so god in your word Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. We decree right now in the name of Jesus in the sickness in the disease in the infirmity in the attack targeting your servant in the name of Jesus cancel a spirit my god of might a premature death whether by accident or any other means we declare those forces they are broken in the name of Jesus we intercede for our pastors my god and we declare that men and women of god we will not die prematurely they will fulfill the purposes the plan of god in the time in the generation they will impact lives they will live long they will fulfill their days in the name of jesus mashana kito kamina gabo brasia diapolaki masigina tosa idamlo kodiasa mesheli na kabra hande meremana maribana malabaga meshotolo bokina malababona iprami iprabi iprabi Iprasaka, Ipramala, Isonika, Meshelinaka, Meroprana, Meshelele Bokraina, any alo targeted to any man or woman of God in the name of Jesus to attack them in their health. We declare those forces are broken, those powers are destroyed, those powers are broken in the name of Jesus. And we give them life and declare, oh God, you secure your servant and keep them healthy and keep them in peace and keep them to live long to serve you lord and bring you glory in the your time and in the your generation we give you glory father we magnify your name in the name of Jesus we take two more prayer then we finish you are going to pray for the families of your of your pastor for the family of your man of god in the name of Jesus declare the spirit that the the peace of god the protection of god to the wife or to the husband to the children to that family that they will be secured that they will be protected that they will be hidden in Christ in the name of Jesus no evil will come near the tent the bible says is that blessed is the man who have many sons because they are like arrows in a quiver they will contend with the enemy even at the gate as you pray as a son in that ministry you are contending with the enemy even at the gate i want you to raise your uh, your voice and pray for that family of your pastor that family let it be secured the children let them be protected let them grow to bring glory to god raise your voice to god and pray for one minute shalama kusi balarabosa mekira bona misa malakaya barapuputa katabazino mesheli gana 
Matilana Namazaya, in the Nekeselene Mosaya, Mala Musica, Meribanaco, Pashiba Lakia, in the name of Jesus, Bashelele Bogaya, Miro Biba Babi Bosai, Merata Zakata Malabi, Merapunta Malida Mazaya, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the families of men and women of God all over the nations, in the name of Jesus, we declare that your families, they are covered, they are protected, they are hidden in Christ in the name of Jesus. Allies, O God, in the families of your servants, let the enemy scatter in the name of Jesus. Let forces, O God, of the enemy, let plans of the wicked against your servants, let them scatter, let them be broken, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We raise, O God, this prayer to you in the name of Jesus. And we declare, Father, that your families are covered, that your families are protected, that your families are hidden in Christ in the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Father. We give you all the praise. Finally, we are going to pray that your pastor, your man of God, will experience divine provisions and supply. That God who supplies divinely, who uses even and common sources to supply to his servant. He did it to the disciples. He did it to Jesus. He did it to Elijah. He supplied to him from uncommon sources. He used lavens. He used a widow. He supplied. He is a God who supplied to his servant. I want you to raise a prayer and also pray that God will use you to become a channel that he will use to also to supply to the allies in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for provision, for supply, for divine flow of finances in their ways, even in fulfilling the purpose of God for the according, even for the families, even for the ministry in the name of Jesus. Father God, we know from the scriptures, you are the God who have proved yourself to supply beyond measure. Paul says that he was supplied beyond measure my God, you used the church, oh God of Macedonia, in the name of Jesus to supply beyond even what he needed, beyond what he asked for. I pray in the name of Jesus for every man and every woman in the name of the Lord God, of God that you have called, that they will experience supernatural supply, supernatural provisions, supernatural release of finances in the name of Jesus. Mashakata Ramasaya and common sources, oh God, you are able to to keep them. You call them. You provide for them. You call them. You supply for them. You call them. Oh God Almighty, you will make sure that God they are supplied for. We declare it now. We pray that God Almighty they will experience supernatural surprise, supernatural favor in financial release, in the progress of the vision, in the name of Jesus, in the provisions of your project, in the name of Jesus, the provision of the, of, of the gospel in the name of, of the advancement of the gospel. Father, we pray that there will be supply for their families, for their children, for their wives, for their husbands. Father God, we pray that there will be supply from heaven in the name of Jesus. Use any means, Father God, for you are God. Bless them, supply for them, provide for them beyond measure in the name of Jesus to the glory and to the praise of your name. We honor you, mighty God. We glorify your name. You are good and therefore we worship you. Just take one minute and let's thank God for hearing our prayer. We worship you. We worship you, Father. Oh, we honor you. Thank you for hearing our cry. Thank you for answering our prayer. Thank you, Lord, that your servants will be encouraged, you'll be strengthened. Thank you that all of us that serves you, God, Father God, you receive inner strength. We worship you. We honor you. Those that are under attack, they are secured and they are coming out. Those that are giving up, Father God, they are secured and they are coming out. Out. They are receiving new strength in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor, Father. May your name be praised in the name of Jesus. And now, Father, we agree with everybody that was praying in this hour of prayer. And I pray that God, those prayers are answered from heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we will be seeing, oh God Almighty, the answers.
of our cry to you in supernatural ways in great and terrible works that you terrify the wicked that you terrify the enemies even of your servants in the name of Jesus and your name you be glorified we agree that our prayers are answered and you alone receive the glory and receive the praise in Jesus precious and holy name we pray amen